Press to begin. September 1, conventionally the start of fall and obviously the start of the new buying season as far as technology is concerned. Run you uh, through a list of uh, possible acquisitions you may be considering uh, come the end of the year and they include anything Apple is releasing several devices over the next couple of months, including the iPhone with different screen sizes. A 4.7-inch model and a 5.5-inch model is in the offing, and a new iWatch as well. The problem these days is that there isn't any innovation that takes you over a new frontier or a new dimension or a new platform. So it's just you know a, a new look about things, but the underlying technology doesn't make a quantum leap. I think that's been the complaint. Similarly with uh, Samsung as well, Galaxy L. Alpha, so the entire Galaxy family isn't moving forward. It just looks prettier and some, perhaps some new materials, but not much beyond that. The most recent addition to the Samsung Galaxy family, a 4.7-inch display features a Super AMOLED HD screen and an advanced camera with HDR capabilities. Look out also for the Microsoft Surface Pro. They haven't gotten anywhere with this. I think they won't get anywhere with this one. Amazon Fire, the new iPad, that's on its way. Perhaps you might consider this. The iPhone, uh, in conjunction with the iPhone, releasing a new iPad Apple is with varying screen sizes as well. Google releasing Android version 5.0 and a new Windows. The new Windows 9, they're calling it. Nothing like the new Coke, we hope, because, and more like all Windows, same taste, different look, different screens, different cans. Not an improvement on the old product, let's hope so. Let's hope I'm wrong. Tell you next fall. Computer accessed.